What's up YouTube, this is Unconnected007 and today I am going to show you how to get Siri on iPod Dutch on version 5.1.1 and this is Siri untethered so for example of tethered is where it won't go away after you reboot your iPod see version 5.1.1 there you go all right as you can see I hold down the home button hi Siri What time is it? It is 4.35 p.m. All right, as you can see, perfectly working, and I will show you the proxy host to use for this device. All right, I will show you that it is untethered real quick, and then we'll get started with the tutorial. So I'm gonna turn this off. All right, turn this back on just to prove that is an untethered Siri and this you will need an untethered jailbreak um, if you don't know how to do an untethered jailbreak on 5.1.1 link will or I will have a link on one of my other videos on how to jailbreak 5.1.1 with Aspen thing or something like that uh, for iPod touch Fortune 5.1.1 I am not going to cut any of this video because I want to prove to you that this does work. Now you will need one file on the computer um, that you need. You have to do this on a computer and the file I will have a link in the description will look like this na1ap1.plist. As you can see the iPod still booting. There we go. I'm not even going to unlock the iPod just to show you. Hi Siri. And always for some reason when the first time you connect to it, it always takes a little bit but after that it's fine so I'll show you. Hello. What time is it? There's, okay, so as you can see, it's working perfect. So what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is install iFile from Cydia. As you can see, I already have it. Um, link will be in the description for the um, repo or the source. So loading. And search. And search I file and there you go as you can see I already have it installed and then as you can see you just install it and there you go so after you have installed I file you want to open I file and see the bottom corner there should uh, there it goes there should be a Wi-Fi symbol click that and it's gonna start a web server so what that's gonna do is you're gonna connect to that web server on your computer okay that's it right there so you so there's an IP address right there it says HTTP colon slash slash and then an IP address and then colon should say like 1000 so you want to go on your computer and go on the top browser and that's where you're going to type the IP address so it's HTTPS forward slash slash 192 this is mine 100 connect there And it's taking a little bit for some reason. Not quite sure why. Uh, 
Oh, that's why, because this is not a five. This is supposed to be a six. There we go. Connect. Refreshing. Not sure why it's taking so long. Let me try that again. Okay, there we go. So it'll open the files in your iPod. So the first thing you want to do is let me get up here. You want to go to system and right there, click system, library, and then you want to find core services. Uh, what's next? Springboard dot app. Open that up, and this is where you're gonna upload that file. So you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of this page so you can choose file and upload. So there you go, choose file, and I saved it on my desktop. So right there, open it, install, or open it, and then click upload. All right, it should say that. NAP one. Make sure there's a one after that P. And dot P list has successfully uploaded. So now it's successfully uploaded to your iPod. So now you can go to your iPod, and you can click done on the server. And then you want to go to the core back, or go all the way back to the main system, or right here. Go to system library core services and then springboard dot app and then it should be almost all the way towards the bottom it takes a little bit to find it is there okay there it is so it's called n a one a p one dot p list okay okay wait make sure it's yep that's it so you want to open that and then you want to change the name get rid of the txt and the dot and then um get rid of the one all right so once you have done that push done and then you should have something like this right there the plist and then the original uh and then the original one that was already there you want to click it oops you want to click it and name it backup done uh, okay so once you have done that you should have one right there it's called n81 ap the one that i gave you and then the n a one a p one or a p backup dot p list the backup is what um you renamed the original that was on here okay so once you have done that um we're gonna get into the good stuff now you want to go to cydia again and you're gonna install this source um the source will be in description Okay. I let it load, of course. And this is an iPod Touch 4th Gen. Okay, manage sources. And the source is going to be right here. Uh, link, or it'll be in the description HTTP forward slash slash apt dot techwick dot com you wanna once you have it installed just open it and there should be called my siri port for ios 5 and it's actually 5.1.1 .1. there you go so install that it will take a little bit to install but that's the whole point is to wait for this to install so you can use siri now after that has installed um uh it's getting more simple now after that has installed you want to 
let me think. You, after you install that, you will have to restart your springboard. And what you need to do, it doesn't say this on Cydia, is reboot your device. Because if you don't reboot your device, it, um, it will not work. I have learned that. Okay, so once you have done that, you want to go to settings. Uh, it's loading. Go to all the way down to Spire. And then you're going to type this proxy host, which will be in description. So you're just going to type HTTPS colon slash slash connect dot Siri dot tech wick dot com. So that's where you're going to type in there and then you're done with that. Now you need to go to your Safari browser. Oops, my iPod just resprung. Sorry about that. I'm not sure why it does that. Okay. Um, restart. I'm really sorry about that, guys. Okay. So unlock. And then go to your Safari. Hopefully I have it in history. History, um, it should be called i4 Siri installed certificate. Link will be in the description. Uh, that's the wrong link. Uh, ooh. Okay. Here it is. No, that's not it. i4 siri download keys i4 siri so it's siri.techwick.com slash keys and you need to install all three of these certificates i will do so right now install install now done next install install now done and then go to the last one Install. It will say untrusted. I'm not sure why, but um, it still works. You you need this. Okay. After you have done that, that's pretty much it. You need to do one more iDevice reboot. And after you have done the last iDevice reboot, you can use Siri now. Hold the home button. Oh, one last thing. I'm sorry about that. You want to go to settings, general, and make sure. And make sure. Siri. Is enabled under settings general Siri and enable it after you've enabled it you might have to do a reboot if it does not work if it does work then you're good um, if you have problems enable it reboot um, don't use Siri yet and then um, try it now so hold the button hi Siri and I know people were having problems with um, spite which is um, another one um, that they were having problems with Siri um, um, locking up their iDevice on the boot logo, Apple boot logo. I had that same problem, so this is an easier way and it works. Hi, Siri. Hi. There we go. What time is it? It is 4.47 p.m. Call me Captain. Okay, so what I've noticed too is the only thing if you say talk to Siri and to call you a certain name It does not work. I'm not sure why it won't let you um, choose your own name. Oh, I can't get the right focus I don't know why I ain't focus but it says there was an error during the process of your request when you asked Siri to call you something. So I'm not sure why it does that, but please write, subscribe, and comment and let me know if this worked for you. Um, let me know if there's any unclear parts about the video, and I will help you. This works for me. I hope it works for you. Thanks for watching.